Hello everyone, I am Dhiraj Tatar, a system professor in the chemical engineering department of LGIT Ahmedabad. In this session, I am going to start new topic of the mass transfer operation 1. So, let's start. So, chapter name is gas absorption and topic is absorption and desorption. So, absorption it is also known as the scrubbing and desorption it is also known as the stripping. So, we will see one by one each topic. So, you can see on the screen now, this is the figure for adsorption and absorption. On the right hand side that is the absorption, on left hand side that is the adsorption. So, first point is in a chemistry, absorption is a physical or chemical phenomena or a process in which atoms, molecules and ions are enter into the some bulk phases of the material. It means gas absorption it is the bulk phenomena in which one of the substance from the mixture is entering into the another substance means it is the penetrating inside of the another substance bulk side of the another substance that is why this absorption phenomenon is the bulk phenomena. You can see on the next next point this is the different from the adsorption you can see in the figure adsorption it is the surface phenomena means whatever the separating material means which material uh, whatever the material which we want to separate that is accumulating over the surface in the adsorption but in absorption that is penetrating inside of the substance ok and you can see this is the definition we can write in exam if anyone ask you in exam that define gas absorption or scrubbing you can write this definition you can see on the screen gas absorption is an operation in which gas mixture is contacted with a solvent or liquid for the purpose of the preferentially dissolving one of the component from the gaseous mixture into the liquid and this process is the interphase mass transfer means if you want to separate one of the component from the gaseous mixture by using another solvent this gas and liquid transfer is nothing but interphase mass transfer and we are separating one of the component from the gaseous mixture by using another liquid so this phenomena is nothing but absorption where one of the component which you want to separate is penetrating inside the liquid for the separation so that's why this is the bulk phenomena and this process is the gas absorption so if anyone asks you in viva or any interview how to separate gaseous mixture which separation separation operation can be used for the separation of the gaseous mixture so operation answer is the gas absorption and how to means remove whatever the absorbed from the liquid by using desorption or stripping i will explain this concept in the next slide okay so next point is the therefore we can say there is the mass transfer from the gaseous phase to liquid phase this is nothing but interphase mass transfer last point is the solute so transfer is said to be absorbed by the liquid okay means we are removing one of the component from the gaseous mixture by using another liquid and that component is a dissolved inside of the liquid that's why i can say this is the interface mass transfer and we are removing we are separating gaseous mixture by using liquid these are the examples for the gas absorption you can see on the screen first point is we are separating we are removing nh3 that is ammonia from the gaseous mixture by using water so water is acting as the absorbent before that you should know what is the meaning of absorbent and absorbent so in absorption process whatever the substance is penetrating into the another substance that substance is known as the absorbate and the substance in which another substance is penetrating that known as the absorbent similarly this concept is also available in the adsorption means in adsorption whatever the substance is accumulated over the another substance that known as the adsorbate okay and whatever the substance which is acting as the surface that known as the adsorbent okay so similarly similar concept is available in absorption as well where we are removing the nh3 okay from the gaseous mixture so nh3 is nothing but here acting as the absorbate and water here acting as the absorbent similarly you can see in the second example we are removing co2 h2s okay we are removing co2 and h2s from the natural gas but by using alkaline salts and water solution means here absorbent is acting as the water solution and alkaline salt and whatever the component we are separating that is, that is the CO2 and H2S and third example and last example is in petroleum industry we are separating benzene and toluene these are nothing but hydrocarbons we are separating from the hydrocarbon oil ok by using hydrocarbon oil means hydrocarbon oil is nothing but acting as the absorbent and we are separating all these components from the natural gas so these are the examples of the absorption 
now you can see desorption so desorption is nothing but it is also known as the stripping and it is the opposite to the gas absorption so i told you if you want to separate one of the component from the gaseous mixture by using liquid we can use gas absorption process but if you want to remove whatever means we have absorbed in the liquid if you want to purify the liquid okay in industrial in the, for the in industrial uh, purpose okay so how to remove those components by using desorption gas desorption phenomena or stripping means whatever the substance is accumulated inside the substance we can remove those substance by using gas desorption or stripping so you can see means from the liquid phase to the gas phase we are removing mass from the liquid phase to the gaseous phase but in gas absorption we are we are transferring the mass from the gaseous phase to the liquid phase means both the phenomena are the interphase mass transfer and both the means i can say the principle for the gas absorption and desorption is the same now i will discuss with you some important points related to the absorption and adsorption you can see on the screen you can see on the screen now some important points related to the absorption so first point is this is the definition for the absorption that is nothing but assimilation of the material or assimilation of the molecular species throughout the bulk of the solid or liquid means i told you if we want to separate any component from the mixture uh, specifically i can say gaseous mixture then that component is a penetrating inside the another substance that may be liquid okay or solid so that substance is nothing but absorbate and the whatever the substance we are means using for the separation that is nothing but absorbent now next point is you can see this phenomena is the bulk phenomena means material is penetrating into the another substance that's why it is the bulk phenomena and this process is the endothermic process means energy heat is required to carry out the process and it is not affected by the temperature means if you are increasing or decreasing the temperature rate of the absorption is not affected by the variation parameter that is the temperature next point is the it occurs in the uniform rate means throughout the bulk part of the substance i can say in the uh, we are separating component by using the liquid means throughout the liquid the absorption rate is the uniform so i can say whatever the process is taking place here that is the same throughout the material so these are the important points for the absorption if question for the three marks for the absorption only absorption explain absorption in detail you can write all these points for the three marks next is the adsorption you can see here adsorption so it is the different than the absorption so in adsorption it is nothing but it is the surface phenomena and material is getting adsorb over the surface means adsorption it is rate is totally depend on the surface area of the adsorbent if surface area is large i can say adsorption rate and total adsorption phenomena is the large so you can see definition for the adsorption now on the screen accumulation of the molecular species over the surface of the material that is nothing but the adsorption so i can say here accumulation of the molecular species at the surface rather than in the bulk of the solid or liquid is called as the adsorption in whatever the film that is a generating or accumulating over the surface that is nothing but adsorbate and the surface which is acting as the adsorbent best example for the adsorbent is the silica gel or charcoal we can use for the separating the color part of the solution next is the it is the surface phenomena means rate of the adsorption is nothing but depend on the surface of the material is surface area is the large i can say absorption adsorption phenomena means adsorption rate is the large and next point is the related to the energy this process is the exothermic in nature means heat is released heat is evolved during the reaction during the process that's why this process is the exothermic in nature next point it is a favored by the low temperature means first of all you should know that its adsorption is depend on the temperature if we increase the temperature rate of adsorption decreases means whatever the molecule is getting accumulated over the surface that is decreases means that is start leaving from the surface if we increase the temperature rate of adsorption decreases whatever the film generated over the surface that is leaving from the surface so that rate is depend on the temperature if that's why i can say this process adsorption process is the favored by the low temperature next point you can see on the screen that is it steadily increases and once it reaches the equilibrium that adsorption will beyond that adsorption is not possible and last point you can see concentration on the surface of the adsorbent is different from that in the bulk means i told you in adsorption 
that is the uniformly distributed whatever the substance is accumulated means inside the substance that is the uniformly distributed inside the substance but in adsorption that is not uniformly distributed that's why this is not uniform over the surface okay and i can say this phenomena is depend on the surface area means if surface area is large adsorption also rate of adsorption also large so this is all about adsorption and absorption what we have seen in this lecture i have introduced you about the absorption and we have seen some important points related to the adsorption and absorption so basically we, uh, i can say there are four terms are very important in this topic first one in absorption that is the absorbent and absorbent and in adsorption adsorbent and adsorbent so what is the meaning of absorbent listen carefully if i am separating one of the component from the gaseous mixture by using liquid okay so the material which is the penetrating inside the liquid that material is nothing but absorbent and the liquid is acting as the absorbent because separating liquid is nothing but absorbent and whatever the substance we are separating that is nothing but absorbent similarly on other side adsorption in adsorption there are two terms first one is the adsorbent and adsorbent so adsorption it is the surface phenomena and whatever the substance is accumulated over the another substance that is nothing but adsorbent okay and the substance which is acting as the surface which is nothing but but the adsorbent so best example i can say if you want to remove the moisture from the mobile you can just put that mobile inside the silica gel pocket whatever the moisture present in that mobile that is removed from the mobile and i can say this silica gel means there is a color change of the silica gel means this is the indication of the adsorption of the moisture from the mobile over the silica gel so these are the important examples of the absorption and adsorption so this is all about this lecture we will continue next topic in the next lecture thank you very much